Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I can't turn on the TV these days without seeing a commercial for the Obamacare website that no one can do anything once they get there anyway. I, I, I don't quite understand why uh, they're spending God knows how much money in advertising for something that uh, you know only makes people more angry at uh, Obamacare and, and the website itself. Ali Marai, she is with the National Republican Congressional uh, Campaign Committee. Is that right? NRCC, Congressional yes. Committee. Yes. Yes. And you're uh, going to talk about this train wreck. And obviously it's a hot issue for Republicans going into 2014. Welcome to the program. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I would, I would guess uh, you guys, generally speaking, you've got your parochial issues that every congressman has to deal with. But I would assume for national uh, talking points, you really got them focusing on uh, on uh, the Obamacare issue, wouldn't you? Yeah, we do. Um, I mean, you, you don't have to really hear it from us to know that it's a it's a train wreck, as you pointed out. It's it's everywhere, and it's difficult for Democrats to hide from. So we plan on making sure that everyone understands who's responsible for this mess and before the next election. Now, I, the president is extending uh, for six weeks before the uh, mandate of required for people to get on. But I'm hearing a lot of s- Democrat senators in particular beating the drum and saying, hey, can we wait a year, one more year? Um, and now I'm hearing that's a high possibility. What are you hearing about that? Um, well, we hope that's the case. I mean, there, as you pointed out, there are a lot of Democratic senators over on the Senate side that are asking for that um, to be extended beyond the March deadline. But I mean, the bottom line here is that, um, you know, this was extended for big business. So President Obama makes that concession for business, but not for American families. And it's just, you know, it's just not appropriate. Very, very inappropriate. It's un- uh, really unbelievable how, you know, uh, in the bath he is for uh, the largest corporations in America, but has this common disregard of the people that he continues to play on to get reelected. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just a, an issue of, of basic fairness. There's hundreds of thousands of people that are getting, you know, cancellation notices from their current insurers. And that's a far cry from what we heard during the election, which was if you like your health insurance, you can keep it. And, um, you know, people like Pete Gallego, the, the congressman from Texas 23, are, are the perfect example of who uh, American families should be blaming and, and calling um, as these plans start to take effect. Yeah. Yep. So as far as talking points go, you know, uh, what is what are some other hot issues that the Democrats are going to have to deal with in 2014, you know, besides the Obamacare? Well, I think I think this is going to be a big one. I mean, um, we started running uh, paid advertisements uh, in Texas about, um, you know, Pete Gallego's support of this. And he, he's gone so far, if you want to stay focused on health care for a minute, he, he voted to shut down the federal government to protect Obamacare and, again, um, to protect the medical device tax. So, you know, this, this is someone who masquerades as a moderate, but when push comes to shove, the stuff that he's, he's supporting is just not um, – not helpful for American families. And I think if people really dug down and and understood the way that he was voting, they'd be really disappointed with his performance. Mm -hmm. Have you done polling in that district to see where where his constituents stand? Um, You know, not recently, but um, I will certainly keep you abreast when we we do have some of that. Um, This is going to be a a district that we're very focused on because um, we do recognize that he – you know, is not in voting the way that he should be for this district. I mean, we heard time and time again, um, focusing on Obamacare, you know, that the Affordable Care Act is more than a website. That kind of is, you know, Pete Gallego and, and House Democrats' big defense. But, you know, as we've pointed out, the the problems go beyond the website, too. So, you know, there, there's all these problems with it's not clear whether or not enough young, healthy people are going to sign up. The costs are high um, and far higher than a tax would be for the non-compliance. So I think you're going to see the law kind of start to crumble beyond the website, and it's going to be really bad news for um, for Pete Gallego, and certainly it's going to be helpful when we do start running some more polling in the district. Pete Gallego, he won by uh, 10 percentage points in 2012. Mm-hmm. How, so you really think he's vulnerable? I do, um, because I think once you drill down and you and you look beyond his talking points of, you know, oh, I'm a moderate, and you look at things like, you know, how far he has gone to support this, quote, train wreck of a bill, again, you know, voting to shut down the government to protect it, and also the medical device tax. That's another um, 
area of the bill that has broad support from both Republicans and Democrats, you know, among all um, branches of the government in the Senate as well. There's a lot of Democrats um, who have put forth their own versions of a bill that would repeal the medical device tax. And I think it's it's far recognized that these are things that are not good for our country as a whole um, that Pete Gallego is to the left on. Mm -hmm. So most of our listeners, I think, is probably in the greater Houston area. You know, Mm -hmm. who do you see vulnerable uh, in the Democrat front here in Houston? Because you're talking about a guy who is uh, several hours away from us. Right. Um, You know, I I think anyone who is, um, you know, tying their name to this to Obamacare is going to have problems. I mean, there was an editorial in The Atlantic this morning, which is widely recognized as being a you know, a leaning left publication, and their their headline was the stunning ne- negligence that doomed Obamacare's launch, and that's something that's going to be felt um, far and wide everywhere in the country. So, you know, a couple segments from that said Obamacare wasn't competently run. The details are embarrassing. I mean, I could go on all day from stuff we pull from articles. So, I think anyone who is closely aligned with any component of this bill and who has a voting record to protect it is going to be a, going to have a hard time. Yeah, very interesting. I think it. I think it's got. A, it's a great wedge issue. I think Obamacare mm-hmm. is, and uh, any uh, Republican who's not beating that drum, shame on him. Not only because of the constitutionality and the economic uh, efficacy issues and all those type of things. It's just a great political football. Yeah. So it's interesting. I, I like Gene Green. I'm assuming Gene Green's a, a, an Obamacare guy, but I don't know how vocal he's been about that. He, of course, is one of our local car. Of course, Sheila Jackson Lee, who apparently, mm-hmm. apparently, I, I mean, I, no one can beat her, which is to me the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, you would think <laughs> uh, you would think uh, Minnie Mouse be able to take her down, but uh, uh, apparently she's unbeatable. But I always thought that Gene Green was vulnerable if a Hispanic were to run, you know, a conservative Hispanic were to run in in his district, uh, and and. Uh, Unfortunately, there has been one or two, and they lost. So I don't know. Uh, I, I guess you're hitting on this particular guy because you see numbers uh, that that show some kind of vulnerability there. Yeah. Yep. That is that is correct. Well, listen, I appreciate you spending time with us. Uh, NRCC, we need to get some more of your uh, members of Congress on. We've had a lot on, but I've always loved talking to people like yourself who are keeping an eye on uh, on the stra- strategy. Ali, I appreciate your, your time. And uh, do you have a website you want them to go to? Yeah, um, we have a lot of updates posted uh, throughout the day at nrcc.org, and um, we have a, a ton of stuff on Obamacare right now, but um, depending on your on the district that you're logging in from, there's um, a lot of info about um, your local congressman as well. Yeah, make sure you check out your local congressman. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you of best content here. Show us up over there at usdailyreview.com, and this is The Price of Business. Thank you.